So one of the things that we can run into is what happens if we get a bunch of these? Um, obviously you're seeing a bunch of uh, pound sign names everywhere. And so all of a sudden it's a well, uh, kind of daunting. Did, uh, did I screw something up? Is something broken? What can I do? Well, what I can do is I can actually come in here and let's just say arbitrarily, uh, we can come to uh, one of these cells and we can actually do error checking. Now error checking is inside of my formula tab, but if we take a look at this, you see I'm getting an error and my, my formula is just sum G7 to G9. So it's just these three cells. Now what will happen is if I click on the drop down menu for error checking, one of the options I get is trace errors. And when I click on trace errors, you see I get actually a red line that indicates where to go, where it's being referenced from. Now, if you can double click on it, I have not been able to, it's not the end of the world, but you can see I get a reference. It's telling me that cash flow G22 is where this error is occurring. And this actually, this icon right here is indicating that it's on another page. So let's actually jump down there and let's see what's going on. G22. I'm clearly seeing an error here. So what I can do is I can continue to do that same trace error. Instead of going all the way up here, I also have this option, uh, this little dialog box that pops up beside me, and I, that gives me the same option to trace the error. As soon as I select it, you see I get a red line and some blue lines. These red lines indicate that this is an error, this, was, this is what caused this error, this is what caused this error, and you can see eventually these numbers just to kind of help us out, just in case that's where the error is occurring, you can see that this C19 is actually where the error arises. And the reason is, we take a look, you can see I have a sum with two M's on there. As soon as I fix that, all of those numbers get cleared out on the balance sheet and on the cash flow worksheet. And now, just because I, you know, I don't really like having arrows arbitrarily strewn across my screen, I can also select this remove arrows and I can double check on the bound side, remove arrows.